All right, we're going to get Pokemon Team of Top. Team of Top is going to be quite annoying for us. We do get bullied out earlier on. I'm running Ghost to be able to keep up with him better. He's running TP, so Ghost should be able to help us out quite a bit, especially in R. That E plus old trick will be so useful to us. It'll be like our bread and butter for getting kills, but I'm not really thinking that we're going to be able to do too much pre-6. One more good thing is that when we ult him into our realm, his shrooms don't go there. So if he has like an elaborate, you know, maze of shrooms for us to go through, we just ult and they're gone. But it still doesn't mean that we should just walk over them after the fight, because we might just like step into 2-3 and then die. <laughs> so <laughs> that's one thing to be careful of. Yeah, they got a quite they got quite a jumpy team. Two ignites, I mean two two exhausts, which is gonna kinda ruin our day. That's no good. Still gonna go for a bunch of damage here. Porta belt into Nash's tooth. But, I mean, I'd love to go for um, Sork Shoes here. Unfortunately, we desperately need Merc Treads into this, right? We need Merc Treads into Teemo, into Evelyn, into the CC. And it's got to be our first item rush, actually, in lane before Portal Belt. So, yeah. Portal Belt, I guess we could go Rylai second. Portal Belt, Rylai, and then into Nash 2, but we'll just see how the game goes. Is he sitting here, invisible? That's what they all do, right? <laughs> like that, I really like that skin. <laughs> I don't know why, but the older skins just straight up look better, in my opinion. Because, like, I feel like it's gone to a point where the more effort is placed into a skin, the more generic it just looks. Because there's more effort into all of them. So this, this stupid skin looks way more unique than this whole setup. Because it's a stupid skin, where it's just like, oh, he destroys stars, you know? Like, like, hey, look at this silly little guy in this silly little game. I like that. I like you cut, G. <laughs> no, those two hit. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Is my Q his auto range? Let's find out. I think it's his auto range, but it, it, it might be a bit around. W the auto attack there. That's good damage. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh, oh. Should have gone for the auto attack. Well, I mean, I should have maybe waited and gone for it. Timo should have instantly flashed that. He should have just, he, he should have instantly flashed there. It's a kind of gank where, like, if Viego is not going to reach you with that, and it looks like he's still charging it up, then he's 1 billion percent just going to flash on you and stun you. In that case, you got to also instantly flash away, because once he gets that flash on you, and that stun on you, I can go in and do my damage. And then at that point, you can't do anything about it. Right. Uh, whatever. Want to get the Merc Treads first. Like, just complete it in the first pack. Bit of a sacrifice because we lose D-Shield so early into the game. Like, you kind of want to keep it around here, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Is there a build Riftmaker? Huh. I don't know, man. The tank setup is just too boring for me. I live life on the edge. I want to just, like, crack people with, like, a Q. That ain't good. He gets level advantage here for sure.
I'm just Wing preemptively to not take any poke damage. Because I'm not going to go for an all-in against him anytime soon. Okay. Let's get a little six here. I'm gonna W and heal up with it, chill till it turns, and then go for the other one. Go for the boots. <laughs> and we lose the D shield damage. I think we just should up do less damage to everything. Because it didn't go for any damage earlier. Yeah, he's just playing back now. Life is a bitter shame. That's flash gone. Good kill, good kill, good kill. <sighs> Let me see here. Yeah, we can afford pure AP. Good. Might make the lane a bit more tough, but I think we can survive for another minute and a half and then just will kill him again. This time he won't have a um, flash, so we should be able to finish him off, especially with the added damage, but who knows, right? Or he got one shot. Nice. Yeah, Balling is losing, so I think we might as well just call it. <laughs> Can we have FF at five minutes? Thank God he didn't toss that onto like an actual minion. Because if we did, then it would have blown up on us. That was a solo, it would have 100% just nuked him there. Nuke. Those solo kills are just shit up our bread and butter. The fact that we're just trading evenly <laughs> is like a miracle. He really wanted to flash again. <laughs> what did, where did he go? He must have ran quick, yeah. It was not a good idea to ult him there, because the whole idea is we burst him down. If I ult, I get solo Qs, but we just remove Viego's DPS. So it just straight up makes it so that he lives long enough to get on a turret. Then the whole situation takes way longer than it should. Oh, I can't take it. That sucks. Nah, I'm not doing this. Oh, the one. Okay, fine. Fine with that. I am F I N E with that. He's going static shiv, bro. Is everyone just abusing that item? Should I go static shiv or Mordekaiser? 
Maybe with my lies, it will get like a like I'll auto this and then it'll slow someone up here. <laughs> I think that sounds just about like stupid enough to be viable. <laughs> <laughs> God, this computer game is something else. Ah, he, he, I messed that up. Thankfully. We just straight up, like, <laughs> stat checked him into oblivion there. <laughs> Despite messing up our abilities. Nice. Don't know if I have anything to sell for a repair bolt, though. I get one more. Amp tome. I'm investing in my future, you know. What's every single magic damage item with magic pen? Not a lot of variety in this game, is there? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he'd like hit me while I was doing this wave. Malice never wins. I got hit by that? I got hit by that too? No and you got hit by that, Buster Rooney. It just about like cracked the shield. <laughs> like just barely. That's a stupid Q. Actually, I was trying not to push it way so hard. Sorry, little guy, but you have no kind of play. <laughs> Alright, this is so risky. But I live my life on the edge. <sighs> please don't come top, please don't come top. Nice. Alright. <laughs> Man, that team just stands no chance. Like, the second he walks into old range, it's just over for him. He's too squishy to just sustain our damage. And now we have this boy. It's so wild that this this gives him move speed as well. So you catch up to people. It's not even like the king moves, he's just straight up 30 for the 1.5. Whoa! Whoa! I just want to do this. Everyone's here. There's no way he does that when Elvin's not here. There's only on 40 seconds, actually, so it's not that much of a loss. I would ward, but honestly, wards are just <laughs> useless in this lane. <laughs> because the Evelyn's just invisible, isn't she? Ooh, not good. 
Got Orenton, which is good. Is the W gone? The way he's running through this jungle. Dude, what? Everyone's bot! There's no way he's moving like that when he's alone up here. It's actually crazy for him to do that. That threw me off so hard. Like, that seriously threw me off. Like, what? Just half health them casually. Let's be careful with our W. I know we're hyper limit testing, but... I still got ghost, buddy! Yeah, <laughs> she actually tried that. Nice. No, more is overpowered. Bro, I'm like three levels up on you. Oh, four now. I think I was still four levels up on her even before, but still. Yup. Alrighto. We got our Nash Tooth. Wreck. Nice. I also love the ability haste that you get. Ability haste is not something that you build a lot on Mordekaiser at all, because your default items just don't have them. So the items that do have them, like if you divert to them, like you get your Q earlier, it's just, it feels so good. Right. This is 20, eh, it's all right. That missed. She will always just destroy the Kaisi here. But what do you think I'm doing here? Right? The of the I push the lane. I push the lane. <laughs> Bro, we bodied them. <sighs> Mord diff. Mm. I'm lightheaded now. Uh, uh dude. Guys, guys. Guys. I'm gonna go for a Rylance here. Like, I know I got... I, I did well in that fight, but I just want to make sure that they don't get lucky or something. Let's get down to the dragon. Secure it. Ooh. Let's get down here. Ah, he gets chopped up. He gets chopped up and fed to the alligators. That's a dead Oriana. I 
Let's get the dragon. Mine. I'm sorry, but I'm 1v9. I get the lion's share of everything. Let's go get our Rollies. Pick it up. Pick up. I just hit my mic. Pick that thing up. Head on top. Um. It's a good thing the team is behind and he's going for this crack-headed build. Because now his shrooms aren't really an obstacle for us. I'm a way more larger fan of AP Teemo. Because if you're going like this, whatever this is, then your shrooms are not that big of a threat. You don't have AP, you don't have armor pen. I mean, you don't have a magic pen, you don't have AP. So, like, this just makes so that we can kind of just ignore his shrooms. Right? Like, obviously the slow will suck, but the damage, we can just ignore it. Dude, I got one shot there. What? I guess that's the risk with this build. Man. I should have just ulted the Senna, honestly. But I was like, right, I'll just one shot her here and then ult the Evelyn. Right? Man. These two kills, all me. Alright, let me just take charge here of the situation. Oh, we have chat on. Yes. Alright, boys. Let's just do the Baron and end this game. Try to pick Evel Evelyn beforehand so we don't 50... 50. There we go. I can ult her, but we gotta have vision to find her. That's her there. Alright. Let's go. You're really gonna make me manhandle you? Let me tank. Thank you. What's a crazy damage item that I can go? Let's just go with Demonic Embrace. It works for Mordekaiser, doesn't it? We don't have Ignite, so the dock can be really useful. Siege together. I keep mid push or not. If that worked out. Well, it didn't. If that dash went through, the extra moves would let me actually ult him. Because the, the rockets would just also apply the slow. Yeah. Don't pop off too hard, pal. Uh, he popped off too hard. Very good. Can 
can we 2v whatever this? Yeah, I'm out, bro. Give me that. Nobody else wants it. And you know what they say? One man's trash is another man's treasure. It's so much auto attack damage with Nash's Tooth and our passive. Let's keep farming until we get our Akazana's gaze. Demonic Embrace, dude. I, I keep calling... I've always done this. I just keep calling this item the name of its passive because this is an infinitely cooler name than Demonic Embrace. Now, Demonic Embrace is a cool sounding name, but it's like, you know... It's it's just beyond the point of too edgy. Like, there's an art to edginess, you know? Whereas Akazana's Gaze, it's super weeby. It does sound edgy, but it's not, like, out there edgy. It's like, oh, I'm edgy. You know? That made sense, right? I guess we got some form of stack shiv. We gotta apply pressure because uh, our bot lane's pushing. Oh, Viego just died, but I mean, <laughs> they just four man stayed on us. Just, just <laughs> like they just. <laughs> All right, whatever, GG. <laughs> All right, let's get into working against Kisante top. This one is... It's not a bad matchup, because Kisante doesn't have a lot of kill pressure against you, but it's annoying in that it's quite tough to win lane against. It's not really a matchup you're going to snowball into. It's not really a matchup where you're just going to go cra crazy 1v9 the enemy team against. He's quite good in team fights too, as opposed to you, where you're just like a walking wall of CC and damage, but he's, he's kind of just better. <laughs> So, yeah, he also builds full tank, which makes it tough to put him down. In any case, um, I'm pretty sure we can weasel in a few kills here and there, thanks to me getting Ignite. Also, White is the lead client just making random noises. <laughs> does, it, does, it, does it do that? Like, you're just randomly playing and there's just, like, these clicking noises <laughs> from the client. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, yeah, I tried to weasel in a few kills here and there, but don't expect much. And also, um, another enemy team that looks quite tough for us to fight against. We might have to go for like a silent stuff, right? Silent focus, because again, I don't think I'll perform that well in team fights. I'm thinking we can rush Riftmaker and then go for like a Nash's Tooth. Try to click on the the camp, but more just ran into it. <laughs> Did I misclick there? How do you even misclick against something this massive? Alright, maybe I clicked before it spawned, and I didn't click again. Okay. Let's go, bro. It's a little crazy that that was like an even trade. Salvation. That one almost got me. But I don't think he was aiming for me. Trying to get the AoE damage on him. No, 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 no. 
without taking turret shots, but we also took some. Thankfully, our W stopped us from getting killed by Why is Annie level one? Oh, you gotta go set set mid lane straight, man. That one landed on me. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, dude, just leave, just leave, just leave. All right, he's out. Let's ward up. Yeah. Uh, okay, they gotta get out of there. I'm pretty sure Kizik flashed after him too. Yeah, it's impossible to land ease into him, isn't it? Yep, he's dead. Good. Let's recall here. Walking a bit back so that the Kha'Zix doesn't cheese kill me here. I know he doesn't have flash, but he could just like jump and then one Q kill me. Uh, don't have much gold. Whatever. Yep, I think that's a better play. The reason move speed sounds good in that it helps us maneuver and stuff, but this is really the point where we stop being able to kill him. The longer the lane goes, the less we're able to kill him. Even though we do have ultimate, he can just waste a lot of time. Because first RE is practically unlandable. Like we're ranking this for the armor pen, for the magic pen at this point. And second, um, the thing where he like holds his whatever like the weapon straight and then just like is unstoppable. We have no like recourse against that because with a lot of champions you have way you have a mobility or whatever to keep up with them right or you can just keep your cc and use it after he dashes mord can't really do this right because he could just insta pop it and then just e dash out of your e so we're kind of in a deficit of mobility in this matchup unless he positions terribly and we position well let me just ping missing here i'm pretty sure he's recall at this point though I doubt he's gonna be like roaming. It was. I thought he'd at least get some licks in with his Q. That's fine, free damage. What is he doing then? Getting the jungle camp or something? Yeah, he was getting the river plant. Can't he just cancel our ult with his. <laughs> he can't, he can't, he? Yeah, all right. Um, our ulting window is not that great then. Did I miss that one? Back up. Yeah. Let's try to get behind the Varus here and go for a gank. If I could just ult the Varus, I can survive long enough against him for the Zed to like just position in a way for him to full combo with the Varus. So yeah. I lose a bunch of CS here, but I think it's worth it to give the kill to the Zed. This is not a matchup where we want like a mid laner to fall behind. And also, given that we're not going to be doing much top lane anyway, I'd rather have some impact on the map. Because <laughs> uh, I missed that ward there. Hope somebody takes care of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice some CS, but I'm an in and out guy. I get in, I get a job done, and then I'm out. Not going to waste my time. Killing a ward that gives me 30, like 30 gold. Well, 15 rather. But yeah. It's, I'm gonna use my time. We've got Sigma things to do up here. Not sure how much kill push he actually has here, because he does have his ult, right? Actually, <laughs> he took that, alright. Dude, can the client stop making these noises? Like, what is this? 
Just like, it just randomly clicks every second. Not every second, but every once in a while. Man, this guy is getting owned. Alright, I'm staying then. I'm gonna eat my cues for breakfast, then, uh, you know. I got a nice breakfast burrito for you, pal. If you walk something because it's here and we got a dip. <laughs> right, good. Never mind. He has his ult up though. He has his ult up. He has his ult up. Come on. Yep. Good. Perfect. There we go. There we go. I mean we're doing all this song and dance, but like um our ball is winning, so we're gonna win this game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna close the client down. Okay, dude, like, one is enough. One is enough. Right, we know that you have a client. We know that you've developed a client, okay? You don't need to make a... Like, this, this is why I would just mute the client. But I left it on, I guess. Because I wanted to really feel the gameplay sounds of just queuing up. Like... The song, the song that you hear when you're like in champs, like just so epic. Like it just like gets you in the mood to go f into a war, and then <laughs> you, you, you do this. If that landed. That it'd be over. I don't want to waste his time. Because it says. Wanna go? Where'd you go? Uh, we're staying in lane for so long. I kind of want to get um, Rift Maker and then Boots. See if I can get some sneaky damage on him under turret, and then maybe we can, we can kill him. Not good to sacrifice both Q and E there, but we got him to dash at least and miss the cannon. Right, we out. Let's get our Rift Maker, get our boots. Get swagged out the planet. What is this? Jupiter. Boots. Let's get one more thing of AP and walk up. This should be good enough to help us kill him the whole game. As for the rest, I'm going to go for Nasher's Tooth for the attack speed. And then, I think a Zonius Hourglass, maybe. Like, if the Varus ults, for example, it's just, like, a Zonius and chill. All will serve. Ha, ha, ha. Bam. Okay. Here comes Kisante. Should have pinged it. But it's dead, so it gets out easy. Nice. Cool. Fun. Let's see where homeboy's at. I could just be wailing on her, but I kind of want to be a bit more bully like. Wanna go? <laughs> this dude, he, he, he like, he went into that form and got bodied instantly there. <laughs> like, he got so squishy. Okay. I from 
If I land that E, I would have flashed to kill him there. But it's fine. Get the plating. It's <laughs> <laughs> bored out of my mind. <laughs> you want to go, bro? A chunk. <laughs> Come get the auto attack, bro. You extra damage. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's brute force the turret down. Must I do everything? Yes. I sunder the natural cycle so that all may be preserved. Not gonna lie, the fact that Kiseta has such a high pick rate, especially in the low ranks, is a little mind blowing to me. Like you're way better off just picking like a simple champion. Or like even even a complicated champion, like a Fuhrer or something, right? You're just way better off playing a champ like that than picking this. Like, it's way too complicated to pull off. And the thing is, if you mess up as Kesante, you just don't do anything. He's a champion where you have to get the mechanics done right. And if, if you do them right, you don't really get that much power, you know? Oh. What's this? I W'd way too early there, I'd say. Also, that ghost really put a nail in our coffin, didn't it? <sighs> I'm gonna go like the one shot build <laughs> with the Slork shoes. Just so that I get I just kill him in like two Qs. I don't have to care about being careful or whatever. Should I go and ghost myself too, but that's what it is. This right here. I'm surprised our Annie hasn't gone static as well, but she supports it. Makes sense, I guess. Is Jinx able to solo? Like, it's kind of wild to think about, but I'm pretty sure in an all-out meat fest, Kesante actually stands a chance at killing this Jinx. <laughs> this is why ADC players just want to die. <laughs> Like, I, th I feel like ADC players get such a bad rap. But it's just not a fun role to play, even though... It, it, even if he gets, like... Even if it's, like, the most OP role, it's just straight up not fun to play. Because, you know, you're never allowed to be independent. Because of support. Like, support with, them, with the amount of power support has to elaborate, if ADC is ever independent, then you can't play, do anything against it, right? ADCs have to be super team reliant, super just like, I gotta stick with the team, I can't do anything alone, you know? Which, while pretty powerful at times, is not fun. So I got enough support to make ADCs a bit better, but then, you know. I ain't gonna do that. There are a bunch of game-wide problems that kind of need solving to make it more healthy to play, but they're not gonna get solved. So, I suppose it's ultimately worthless to speak about them. I messed that up so hard. I should have can't land my cues, man. 
the way I realized to make things easier for myself. But it won't make sense because like I need to land something to get this slow, right? <sighs> I gotta get my cues on, right? I feel like like there's a trick against people that like dodge stuff against you. Like when they are like waving back and forth, where instead of like gambling for a cue, you just walk at them, right? You you serve just walk at them. And what that does is because they're moving like back and forth like this, they're not moving away from you and you're just moving towards them, right? So it, like if I just move towards someone that's just jiggling back and forth, I should be close enough to just like have the cue be guaranteed. So like I definitely have to work on my cues against champions with like smaller hitboxes. It's a definite thing to keep an eye out for. Or how is he two items? He's what? <laughs> Where did he get the gold for this? He's 310. Well, let's just ask a different question. How does Jinx, how is Jinx just barely ahead with him, right? She's barely even. I bet she has a bunch of like gold she hasn't spent yet. Because for these two to be even in items, it's just like, like criminal at this point. All right, let's get in here. Right down here. Did he? Nope. Alright, let's get back up. Hey, bro, you miss me? You miss me? Nope. Man, this just feels so much better to play now. Man. I love Nash's 2 so much. Like, it just, like, like, I can't play champions that just have, like, slow attack speeds, honestly. This is so good, man. I should honestly never take Tenacity, just replace it with Alacrity. Just to make sure I can actually play the game. But because your art attacks are faster, you can also cancel the animations faster and then just like... Just move more than stance the normal attack, let's just get in here. Hey, yo! Alright, homeboy's cooking. Let's go, bro. Who do you think you are? Yeah, we we messed up our cues, but the ones that we, the one that we did hit there was like a nuke, thanks to the magic pen. <laughs> like we nuked him there. Nice. Perhaps we should go for proto build instead of rift maker. That's enough. <laughs> close, close. Bam. Bam. All right. Get away from me. I was actually asking to get hit by that. <laughs> the way I was moving. Did that little. We nuked him again, and we got nuked. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this kind of damage mord is way more fun to play. It's straight up just more fun. Because instead of being like a frontliner, you're just... I'm, I'm gonna switch to this playstyle completely. I'm gonna run Flash, Ghost, Proto Belt, and then just run Magic Pen and just damage. For the rest of the games, I feel like... Uh, I, I feel like, like this is way more fun. Because... We're gonna die anyway, right? We're too mobile to just survive in a fight when we don't have like a team behind us. So I might as well just go for something where I'm like, if I'm dying, I'm taking down like half a team with me. I feel like that could work a lot better. Nice try, nice try, sweetheart. But it didn't work out. How oh, do I have like the most <laughs> gold on our team? <laughs> 
Oh, whatever. Let's go to the Baron. More does, like, pretty good damage to Baron, actually, so... We can melt it down pretty pa pre pretty fast, <laughs> pretty fast with me and Jinx. More for all, I have to make my life easier. Because I suck at Mordecai's. <laughs> I don't want to say I suck at him, but, like... It's quite tricky to land Qs, again, against other targets that just have, like, small models. Like, Asante's fine, because he's, like, a, like, big and chunky. But, like, ADC champions have such small, like, ch like character models. Can't really pinpoint good Qs all the time. Whew, that's good damage. That's good damage. Life is a bitter shame. This guy hit one Q. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, that's what I'm talking about. I'm dying, but I'm taking down half a team with me. Well, if 0 0.4, like 40% isn't half a team, but it's almost half a team, right? If we're counting in base five, then we're, we can round it up and then, then it's 50%. That's just a stupid joke, by the way, because if you don't do like, computer science or like some math like you won't really get what I'm talking about at all like it's I'm not saying oh I'm, I'm, I watch Rick and Morty it's like it's just <laughs> such an obscure joke <laughs> I'll keep it in I'll keep making them I don't care I don't know man I, I make these videos primarily because it's what I want to make you know not because it's uh, I'm forcing myself to to be like this you know Get the Baron. And we're doing it slowly. Huh. I hope the Kha'Zix doesn't give you. I don't have ult for the Kha'Zix, so he might be able to steal it. Let's get the assist in. Nice. Sup, bro? I thought the small one also gave passive. All right. Oh! Don't worry, we avenged you. Hey, yo, bro, you gotta chill. Got him. Good. Nice. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in the next one. I'm digging this damage build. Peace out. Alright, we're back from our gameplay orp against Garen Top. This is not really a difficult match for Mordekaiser. The only thing that Garen's kinda annoying in terms of is that if we're around like this ish HP. He can Q us and then basically kill us during the silence with his ultimate with the ignite because we won't really have, you know, the ability to use our W. That's one thing we gotta be careful of, just taking trades against the general. We gotta just win trades hard, get a lead early. And then post six, we gotta either kill the one go or just not fight at all. Because basically speaking, if we fight him and we, even if we win the trade, we have to win it so hard because he's his natural healing ability is just better than ours. Our W is not that terrible. But it's not as good as his passive, because RW is like a like a burst of feeling where he just constantly gets the passive feeling on himself, right? I think this is like um a good lane for Riftmaker, right? He is a meatball, so the treasure is gonna be really nice. Alright then, bro. Pull up. Chillin', just chillin'. The unworthy are dust, doomed to wither and fade. Shut up! 
I'm gonna follow with all attacks, but I didn't want him to give him like ticks on his E. Nice damage on me. We got lucky there, man. We got lucky that our dog got the cannon. That was not a good cue to tank by him. What's that jungler? Kha'Zix or him? Not the most amount of damage, but it'll do. Because he's so low range, we can kind of just bully him under the turret with our Q. Let's let this one push up. I'm kind of trying to see if I could maybe find an opportunity for like a kill with Ignite. It's not exactly easy. <clears throat> yeah, you're not getting that, man. S-O-Z. Really good trade there. We didn't hit the minions. <clears throat> I've ghost instead of ignite. What? Got to be kidding me. Like, you have actually got to be kidding me. Man. Yeah, let's just run this game. That is not good, man. Yeah, that wasn't good. I should have tanked it, I guess. I even ulted it so he couldn't get the ult off on the Rek'Sai. I suppose that was a stupid dive. Yeah, his W made it so we couldn't burst him as easily. Not good. Oh, man, I don't have Ignite. Like, I would have just killed him by myself there with Ignite. This sucks. I didn't even pick... Ghost the last match. Which is just confusing me as to how I have it. Let's go for the freeze then. <clears throat> Better not step up in auto range. Because we're kind of squishy. We got a lot of damage, regardless. There we go. 
He didn't have Vars, so it was basically just a free fight. Good, let's get out of here. I low-key was considering going for W Mask second. I'll stay for a Cloth Armor though. Because I am taking a bit too much damage in this lane. I kind of want to be more durable. Got ghost up now, which I suppose is going to be helpful in the kill. If we get a good hook or whatever, I'll just ultimate run him down with ghost. I'm happy to keep you this freeze. I will if you can CC him, I'm all in, but that's a big ol' if, ain't it? Oh, we got one of them. At least the Rex I survived. I was kind of hoping to get the Kha'Zix there too, but he flashed out. And chasing would mean that Garen would get away. Okay, the wave crashed. I'm not gonna lie, maybe Ghost isn't so bad. <clears throat> I kind of ruined a bunch of the kills I could have gotten early, but... Hmm. At least I can use it now to just <clears throat> maneuver better in fights like that. I'm just way too greedy at this point. The thing is, Riftmaker on its own is not like the best power spike. So I kind of want to just recall with as much gold as I can. <clears throat> Let's go. How many places does he get? The one? The din of the living world. The silence of the hereafter. I will do it all. Them bad boys, show me what you can do. Malice, this item is so, like, just weird, honestly. It's not exactly trash, but, it, like, all the champions that build Riftmaker don't, like, fit Riftmaker 100%, you know? It's supposed to be, like, the, the mage sort of all in item, I guess. Like, conquer, but for mages, I suppose. I mean, you can go conquer on mages too, but still, right? It gets better as the fight goes on. Crash that fast. All right, let's freeze. <clears throat> Oops, I did it again.
who smooled up Corky. I kind of want to gank here because I'm pretty sure if I ult him, he loses his like package, like the AoE of it doesn't travel with him. So let's invite that. Let's keep the pressure up. Good, he actually recalled. That's perfect. On a proxy. That should be a firm. Knocked out of the game. Oh yeah, I, I gotta get it done. I didn't see that, that the place were about to go down, so... If I were to keep proxying, I'd miss the last blade. I miss it anyway! I'm not happy about that. Only 200? Like, <laughs> this item is just straight up trash, man. Should have gone something else. Let's get this wave on recall. What are we getting? I kind of want to go for more, like, damage -y again. It's just straight up more fun. So, Sork Shoes, I guess. Let's get it. Gotta get the Rylice, because I'm kind of... Let's just get the Rylice right now. We have to go for it. Because <coughs> we went Rift Maker, we're kind of... Have to go out of, way, out of our way for the slow. Body. Now I am Iron Incarnate. Beep, beep. Get it? Incarnate. It's, it's kind of funny. Totally. Yeah. Let's crash this in. wants to go anybody sign up for some action bro just leave please <laughs> like all right we, we got it we, we get it you got you got some fighting yeah right we get it but it doesn't end well for us i just did that to get the hundred Hey, yo, how you doing, my man?
Okay, we've got an entire bot lane up in here. Yeah, I am! You're Marty Kaiser, right? Yes. Fear me. I am not above slapping you down, bro. And you. Right. There's enough to go around, guys. Line up. Let's get this turret. But can I? Yeah, I can. It's bad. Let's try to get in there and get out. <laughs> Too slow. Alright. I'm definitely gonna get this. I just want the damage. Bam. Let's get the Nash's tooth. Can actually, can I just buy that straight up? Don't wanna wait. Am I patient enough to wait? Yeah, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. I still want to get sword shoes, but I just have way too much money. <laughs> that it's way better for me to just buy completed items every recall. <laughs> Suffering from success, baby. Let's go. You better not let him have that turret, bro. You better not. Holy Jim Lowly. Does he win the 1v1? Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Just, 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 just succeed. Like, I just realized that he, the Garen would have killed him there. <laughs> I just realized, alright, he's gonna die here. Alright, you guys do this. I uh, take care of some manly business. Over your eyes, boy. You don't want to see this. Uh, I kind of went easy because I was like, right, maybe I should go up here to not get instantly one shot. <laughs> the second I thought about my safety, I I, I slipped. Mm. The second I, I considered, will I be alive after this? I slipped up. <laughs> Never happening again. Is there straight up no... <laughs> there straight up no AP Mythic that gives Omnifact, <laughs> aside from Rift Maker. Huh. Alright. What's well, a nice funnel item I can go then? I guess demonic, right? <clears throat> Let's go slip bot lane. Bound to iron. All right, uh, that ain't looking good. That's like the shortest Kha'Zix jump I've ever seen. Dude, don't do this. Yeah, Rexa just went in wanting to die there. He's a mad juicy. The means right there would have gone away with it. Let the 
Well, probably not. He's got too much range. I'm still here. Dude, they just should have auto me to death, man. Ugh. That sucked. Dude, how does Zeri. Not the Zeri, the Rel, man. Like. Like, she has so much CC. That kind of messes with how I use my abilities. Like, as I try to kill her. So that I don't kill her quickly. It's just like. The CC is just so much. It takes so long. Yeah. That's what I get for trying to have fun, right? Let's just group up, get the objectives, and end the game. Back off, back off. I'm gonna go mid. Let's settle the score. Okay, we're you calling. Keep that push, boys. Dude. Right. Whoa there. That's crazy. Okay, we cooked. Nice. Alright, that's that. Whoa. That actually worked. Let's just tank it. Our life's on the line, guys! <laughs> I gotta heal up. I don't wanna die. Alright, good. Well, that's that. GG. I'll see you guys in the next match. Peace out. All right, we're back to a gameplay. We're against Nasus Top. Nasus Top is awkward to deal with for us because I know we're a bit of a massive stat bully, stat cheeky champion, but he's even more so. So it's gonna be a bit rough. I'm gonna I've got a bunch of move speed here to help us maneuver around him. I'm gonna go for Sifties to help against this W is slow and. Maybe I'll go for. I don't know. Thing is, I, I kind of have to go for. Oh, why did I get this? All right. <laughs> I'll do like the jungler thing where I. Like a recall and buy a ward. Come on, boys. Seriously. Come on, boys. Knock it off. Pack it in. Oh, yeah, I don't care. Anyway, um, I'm going to recall and get a ward. I kind of want to go for maybe Sunfire will be not Sunfire. Uh, what's his face? Uh, this one, this one. Iceborne, yeah. Iceborne will work out because the second we all attack him, it's going to keep him in place and allow us to maneuver against him. Right? It's going to make our Qs easier. It won't give us a lot of wave clear, but thankfully Mortar already has like a like a decent amount as base. So yeah, Swifties, Iceborne, and then we can go for like like a tank killing setup. With like a uh, demonic embrace, what's it face? It's going Q, probably yeah. Gotta go for E, but all right.
That's a lot of good damage. Nice. I have to get that five damage on him. Pretty sure Belveth is up here now. I kind of want to just keep up the pressure, though. Why did he go D-ring if he was going to start Q? No remorse. He's out of pots. Oh, that's not good. Pretty sure he's just straight up dead. Never mind, he made it out. Yeah, I kind of ruined my concentration for the lane. We got a bunch of CS. Let's let it push into us. I want to fight him or the Belveth 1v1. Like, drag them into a fight and then kill one of them at least with the ghost. I'll take that no cannon for him. Not sure how well that's gonna work, man. I guess it just straight up is. <laughs> what? He's on like a like a timer though. Alright, let's get in here. Dude, <laughs> what else was gonna happen? <laughs> You're not pinging me for that. You're not pinging me for that, man. Are you serious? Like, on what actual planet does Rengar, like, like, survive that situation? Can, can they get the, the level up, man? Ugh. Didn't get the level. That was a kill, too, because he also wasted his W. Whatever. Goes down. Still got a flash, but that's not enough on some, is it? Also pushed the lane quite a bit. We're farming well, but that's not enough on its own. Doggy down. You were correct to fear. I don't think he can do much as Rengar. At least straight up he can't do much as Rengar. I hate how everyone's so self-centered. Like, he's self-centered, she's self-centered. Like, I don't know. I guess I'm also self-centered to an extent, right? Everybody is, but come on, man. Like, how am I not getting ganked? It's a Rengar. Like, he's not going to do much if he doesn't get, like, an early lead. Yeah, I wouldn't jump again if I was that Rengar. 
Like, if you jump again, you're asking to get bodied. Shut up quite a bit. Dude, I have so much move speed. What? It feels crazy. You get a solo. Take that. Didn't even need my ult, baby. Dude, we just straight up brute force kill him. If he had Sheen, if he put his money into Sheen instead of this, he would have killed us. He would have for sure killed us with Sheen. Get that money. Get that money into my belly. Which planet is it this time? Jupiter. Does it just alternate between Earth and Jupiter? Oh, they changed color. Nice. You should do like all the planets in the solar system. Because that's just dummy fun. Sorry, bro, but he's got. He can't do much without level 6. You know? Like, into this matchup. Like, what? what is Rengar going to do? Play it here. Oh, that good. <laughs> nice, she actually saved him. Good. He has got to stop going into the jungle to invade. Like, he has got to stop invading. Like, it can't be good. He Like, he just should have lose to Belveth. Like, she just, like, manhandles him. So going for invades are so crazy. Nice. Where is the Nasus, man? What is he soloing the Herald? Where were you, man? Where were you? <laughs> you can kind of just e-spam and, like, crash this. I just wanted to damage, didn't want to kill him. Now that I've buttered him up, I can... Get him a bit easily. I low-key want to save my ult for after yield to get his resistances. Right? But I feel like I'm so far ahead of him that I could just ult him without caring. I should have just ulted him and gone for the kill. It was bad of me to not go. Just send it there. Dude, I thought that butterfly was like the Bellbeth or something. <laughs> like... Gets a random heal. Yeah, he cannot stay now. I cannot wait for Ice honestly. There we go. 
<laughs> Gotta hit him with that solo riff. <laughs> nice, we got both the Nasus and the Belloth. She did a really good stun here. I took more turret chest than I should have. Though ultimately, it did not matter. The best part about going Iceborne on Mord is that you don't have to go for Rylands anymore. To like... Like as a slow. You just don't need it. Balling is winning, so we should win this game. Relatively easy. This is going to be such a life hack, because the second I auto the Nasus, he's like... Stuck there. For more damage for my passive and etc. So that is perfect. I don't have- I, I get like a mythic too. Good stuff. Getting that 20 sheen damage into 30 rather. Bashing into the turret. Nice, Rengar is now fed. That should be it for their team. I don't see a world where they come back. Dude, where's Sheen? Get Sheen! Get Sheen, please! You need Sheen, my friend! Dude, you need Sheen, I swear to god, please just buy it! Do you know how much you need that thing? Like, it's tilting me, man. I think the ult expired at the right second. And the turret shot got left in the other world. <laughs> I should have died there. I should have for sure died there. I should have been gone, man. God, that's infuriating to fight. Oof. Oof. Is that you, pal? Or is it someone else? Uh, of course. Seriously. Hey, look at me, I can use flesh! Yeah. At least I've had parental love in my life. <laughs> Is that a bit too far, or...? Yeah. Let's go for Nash too. Or I could... I also, also, I could also get Morello. Hey, I'm gonna get the Morello. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's it, it's such an Italian item name. Morello. Morello. Alright, let's just kill this gen, honestly. I work. You shall transcend. I'll stick that mask where the sun don't shine, boy. Do I? <laughs> It looks like he has no head from like behind. Well, we won. 
one shot that. This is a bit risky, but I, th I think we got enough damage to just mess him up. Alright, let's sleep now. Maybe if we, like, um, committed, we could get the turret with Zig Satchel. No. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's now leave. See, the next time Rengar needs help, I'm just gonna let him die. Oh, the effect. Anyway, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. Alright, we're back some gameplay. We're up against Camille Top. This one can be really rough if the Camille player knows what she's doing. Because, although we do just straight up, like, stat checker and body here, she knows what she's doing. She can play safely enough to the point where she's not, like, in too much of a danger. Because we basically don't really have much of a way to, like, cancel her hook shot. Now, this does mean that we get free farm every time she has no hook shot available, so freeze will be, like, super good for us. It also means that there's another lane that we can expect to snowball a bunch off of, unless she constantly just wastes her hook shot to just go in on us for some reason, right? I mean, she's running a Hail of Blades, so, I mean, chances are she's completely insane. <laughs> but we'll just have to see, eh? Also, what? We're staying? Right. Respect. Yeah, I couldn't have guessed that, buddy. Like, like, uh, dude, they gave him a white beard. Nice. Like, they, they just made his hair gray. Also, you, you gotta tank that, man. Don't, don't, don't push it on me. All right, let's get back here. She might try some cheeky level one, like all in, but I seriously doubt she's gonna win. You have got to be insane. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro's tweaking, man. Bro's for sure just like tweaking. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. I get it, right? You don't wanna... I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't get it. No, I, I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> I do not understand. I don't get the why. I don't get all the other stuff in addition to the why. It's just beyond my ability of comprehension. Thirteen attacks so far. I mean, at least she's using this damn thing, right? Like, also, why is it more than a hundred percent landed? Surely that's like just like stupid math, right? Yeah, I'll, go, I'll I'll run them hands to be one. <laughs> what is this? Like, why is she why is she just straight up on a camping trip up here? Go away, creature.
kind of want to just flash on her there. But then the Lily would 100% just run behind me and kill me. has a move speed to run away there. My dot doesn't kill her. Disgusting champion. Hot tooth. If you if you play Lilia and you come from a religious family, think about what your father would think, huh? He would slap you if he found out you were playing Lilia. <laughs> so, so stop. <laughs> Do I go for this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's just get Sork Shoes first night and let's go. Oof. Time to chunk people down. Precision is the only standard that matters. Precision is the difference between a butcher and a surgeon. Like, I'm parody. I'm like making fun of how she just talks a lot, and here she is just still talking. Isn't that just hilarious? Alright, we gotta go for a freeze here. I know where she is, bro. That's crazy. Hey, that's crazy. Dude, bro, isn't it crazy that the Camille was there? Bro, that's that that's crazy. Can I get some that's crazy skull emojis in the comment section? Like that, that's crazy. Hey, yo, <laughs> no one could have seen that coming, man. Whoa, whoa. I sunder natural cycles so that all may be preserved. Hey yo, I'm freezing. Right. This thing here said they don't randomly aggro onto something and then just walk around. I think she should have just losing gold here. But because like these guys just should have don't get how a freeze works. I'm gonna be catching flack. Also, she's gonna be back there, man. Let's just shove, huh? Dude! <sighs> Bro, I can't reach in time. She'll just kill you anyway if you go in. She's losing like 100 gold a minute. Like, <laughs> dude, whatever, man.
That's a lot that I want to shut that earlier there. I got double so I can just sustain through. The lowish health that we got right now. I think I'll go for allies. I'm just gonna straight go for damage. Port of belt. I, like, I'm not playing, man. Like, I am not playing this game. Like, it's just... <laughs> Alright, surely that's a kill. <laughs> Dude, why did she arrive? That's weird. We low-key countered, the, like, the LeBlanc with Talia's, like, rock field now. That helps us basically just, like... Make us, if, if it's on, then LeBlanc can't go in on whoever it's on. Right now I have to just perma shove lane. Because Camille's just gonna roam. And cause someone to tilt. That's some damage, ain't it? Let's get turret platings. The classic ult ignite. <sighs> Stay around here, but I'm too low HP to do much. Okay, we're both gonna die here. I should've just let him die. Like, we we know they are both stupid. I should've just let them die, that was my bad. Like, I should've definitely just let him die there. Let's get the blasting one. Dude, that dying there is so terrible, because now they get like an, like an in into the game. The people I've been just bullying on my power. Uh, should I get back here before she gets too much turret plating? <clears throat> Could really use demonic embrace actually. Let Nash do then demonic. Cause in a fight like that, the, the dot from demonic would have made a difference. Cause then I could have flash Q one shot either the 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 Lilia or the LeBlanc. this. We'll see. It's divine here. 
So let's try to be a bit more careful with tanking our Qs. It's actually so crazy that she can just stand up to me like that. Like, it's so insane. I have to like flash Q out player to kill her. Yeah, W does nothing. <coughs> this one definitely sucks. I will try to see if I can get some kills on the enemy bot lane. The Aphelios and then also the Lilia, if she's in there too. Because LeBlanc I can't do much against. Maybe a lucky Flash Q Ignite might do something. Let's try to go for like a... Like a rocket belt into E into ult. Get a kill. Not willing to give up yet. I'm almost willing to give up, just not yet. Yo. I don't mind the Zed matching the Camille, but I'm pretty sure Camille just kills him. He's not strong anyway. Bro! Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, what am I, 1v3 in here? Bro, he, he does no damage. <laughs> God, this is such a terrible match. I'm cooking, man. Like, I'm doing what I can. Right hand to God. It's just like... It's one of those matches where it doesn't matter what you would do, you probably just lose. Like, I doubt I could carry this one even as Darius. Maybe I could, because I'd be way more fed out of the lane. But, it, like, against this, it's tough, right? Like, LeBlanc is just one of those champions where she's just tough to beat. Not a die here. Shock almost just died. Who are you gonna make disappear, honestly? Like, absolutely no one. You're the one disappearing. Dude, why she step up there? On like, no health! Ugh. She just walked up on like 10 health and just like, like what was gonna happen? Ugh. Oh man. Why well, go for void staff? <laughs> Get like two damage out with each Q. I can kill him here.
he actually soloed me there. Almost. And I, I also, I guess, didn't ult. So that's fair enough, but... <laughs> that was close. Way closer than it should have been, but whatever. Can get this. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. You should get like your passive off of the super minions. Bro, just goes in and does that with like zero repercussions. Alright, I, I I did a lot of work there. Like, if we lose this, then we should just lose the game on the spot. Okay, she even inted. Dude. How much more could I have done there, man? I took out the Lilia instantly. I bashed down the LeBlanc, right? So that, like, the Zed, like, he could, I, he, I got him to a point where he could actually kill her, right? Even land the hook right there. Like, what more could I have done in this scenario? I wouldn't say that much more, right? That, that was, like, as good as it could have been. Alright. Let's hope they're too greedy. I probably should have just gone in and, and like like stunned them so that I could kill him. I mean, she'd die, but at least we'd get both him and the uh, Sona. Let me get my uh, demonic embrace. Blighting jewel. Flesh constrains. I liberate. Gonna get on here. All it took was one Q. This Q is like a smoking pistol, man. This does way, way too much damage. <laughs> nice. Doesn't matter though. It's about to be over right now. Unfortunately. Okay, okay, okay. I tried, man. Could have done more in that fight. I just did a bunch of damage to like a bunch of people, but should have focused on killing someone specifically. They actually killed someone. Oh. Dude, we're like just hanging on by a thread. Dude, just get, just just tank them! <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, Alright, Talia, ult, just ult, just ult, just R, just R, 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 R. Yeah, 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 cut him off, cut him off, cut him off, yeah, yeah. Is he in auto range? Dude, d d d what are you guys doing? Dude, what are y'all doing? Alright. Oh, Should have ignited the LeBlanc. GG. I did what I could. Alright guys, we're up against Fiora Top. Um, 
this is a terrible matchup for Mordekaiser if the Fiora is a good player because... Well, let's run through the list of things that suck about this matchup. Now, one, her mobility allows her to basically pick fights and kite us and get away from us and stuff like that. Two, our E is basically completely unusable because if we use it, she can just use it to, like, get an easier pause stun off of us. Like, you, you, she can repost it and, like, Q repost on us and get an easy stun, which gives her vitals, right? And she kind of easily avoids our Qs if she times her Q with our Q. It's just, like, lots of boost speed. It, it's a matchup that just absolutely sucks. Now, if she's a little insane or not that good at the matchup, then we do have ways to beat her, right? One thing is obvious, we're clearly going to run Bramble Vest this match, first item. Like, I am not playing around here. This is Fiora. We got to run Bramble Vest into her to have a shot at even killing her. Not, we're going to beat her. We want to have a shot <laughs> at beating her. So, yeah. All right, then. Let's get into it, boy. Empty's looking quite annoying. Lots of range. And Milio. Why is this entire, ch like, chest, like, visible like that? I really don't see the practical need for that. Yeah, let's get back top. Getting cheesed. Seems that the great gods are sparing us. She actually reached the good vital there. She straight up just bodied us. Oh my god. If I land that Q, I kill her. Oh my god. She straight up just killed us like that. I should have ghosted earlier. I should have, should have ghosted earlier. Dude, that's so rough. Ugh. And I lose both my sums there too for that, which we kind of desperately need. Well, I learned my lesson. Dude, she should have just bodied me in my full minion wave. Are you kidding me? Oh. Alright, I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. This is insanely tilting. Just straight up kills us. <laughs> ah. Ah. She actually just gets away in the, in the one one situation that I actually win. Whatever. Just TP's back in, by the way, so... The lane's even more over than before. At least we get some levels. Get slapped. <laughs> Make sure you afford Bramble off with that, so that's perfect. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. That kind of kill is just what I needed to get me back into this. Both mentally and also physically, I guess. Well, not physically, but in, in terms of the game physically. She's going to have a little bit of advantage nonetheless, but... It can't all be positive, right? Or can she stop getting good vitals?
Ooh, man. Get destroyed. What now, huh? What now? Well, I'm only getting started, bro. I am only getting started. <laughs> Man, 66 damage is actually pretty high, if you think about it. What is it? She, she attacked me 11 times during that entire fight. She's level 6 now, so we should be careful again. Oh. Fun. Let's just wait for a 6 then. She just gets like the perfect two vitals there. That was annoying, but we do have the advantage now. Where is she? I would have killed her on my own, by the way. But I appreciate the help. What is he gonna do? Ult me? It was actually pretty impressive that the Fury managed to block my ult with that repost. Like I, I can, I can recognize that. You thought this was going to get easier for you, Fiora? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, -uh, bro. I mean, it's funny because their entire team is like AD. So the, the build I'm going isn't just like me being spiked for the, for the lane. It is like viable. We're just going to act like a frontliner. Dude, dude don't, don't go back up there. Don't go up there. Hammer and anvil, bro. from me my bad I'm gonna go for a primer freeze then Try to ghost kill her when she's back. Let's just W heal up. It's actually crazy she lands that. Well, it's not really in the wall, man. No 
go for W second max. He's practically useless. Oh, she's down there. She went for a plant. Bye, dog. Kneel down and lick my spit off the floor. Hot tooth. <laughs> Two fifty two. Like the, the sheer damage that th this thing is doing is like crazy on its own. Just try force now. That's not good. It's a big power spike. Because now, when she just Q's on me, even if she doesn't get the vital, she does a bunch of damage off of just the, the sheen. Once I finish my iceborne, I should be good to just like maul her though. I'm gonna make you not land there. Right now, I'm gonna find some plant to save you. She's just way more mobile than me. Like, I can't do anything to help you, my guy. He honestly ought to just stay away from top. Because I can beat her alone, but... Like, she, her amount, the amount of mobility she gets now is just disgusting for me to deal with. It's just straight up, I'm incompatible with her. I messed that up so hard, but I got the kill anyway. I gotta stop using. I, got, I gotta stop using both Q and E together like that. Because in a case like that, I should just use the Q and E to like zone against each other, you know. Like E, and then if he sidesteps the E, he runs into my Q. That type beat. Got my Iceborn! Woo -woo. Choo -choo. Had to make some mouth noise, guys, to celebrate. Yeah, I'm not waiting for that Aru Crystal. <laughs> nah, let's see what I get now. I want to get Nash's Tooth, actually. So I can box with her without having to rely on my Qs. My alt text will do better.
Nice. Let's get a third. Yeah, I, I should have just... I should not have been here. Uh, Melia, J4, and Fiora, huh? Fun. It was stupid to overstay, though. There's nothing I could have gone from there. Fiora's not going to find me without any help. So, she got help. She killed me. Big surprise. Big surprise. That's a waste of my hook there, which I could have used to kill Emilio in my R. I should have just ulted the Fiora and kill her like that. I think that would have been better, but then she could just repost the rim. Would have given me a better shot overall, though. Alright, let's go to the dragon. Just got my ult up though, so I'm not too sure how much I can do. Alright, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm just letting you die. Are we still fighting her, man? Dude! They didn't even kill her! At least we got the the ash and we got them on the dragon, but man, I should just like if I go on the fury, we just lose the dragon, right? Because they're just gonna do it. Ugh, that wasn't good. That was not good. Hmm. Yeah, this dude is not gonna do anything for the whole game, is he? <laughs> Zero two gin, quite useful. Also, Ezreal is abusing static and he isn't. Oh, he's mid. Okay, he's APS real mid. Man, this is annoying. I thought it was going to be AD. Whatever. We have a pretty AP heavy team as well. Like, we kind of need the Jin to, like, pull through here, but he ain't. And once he does scale, he might, like, go to town. But, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, can we hold the game for that long? Do I have that many years in my lifespan? Don't think so. There's actually no more point in ranking W anymore since we're out of lane. 
Should we rank Yingyi instead? Whatever. Lives are temporary. I, I stand eternal. eternal. That thing has to have like the easiest to land like hitbox in existence. Is there literally like, like, could I not get like a like a Jin W or something? I'm trying to do stuff, just like try to get picks with ult, but it's just impossible, man. Like, who am I gonna pick? I can't get on the Ash. I can't kill the Ezreal in ult because he can just E across the wall. I can't reach the melee. He's too high range. I guess the J4. But it just doesn't go in on me, so not even him either. If I had a bit more setup, maybe I could get one of their range champions, but we don't have that. Yeah, but I wish that would have worked, right? <laughs> even if we got the the Silas, like chain off, that would not have gotten us the kill there. Let's just push bot out. I just can't think of a way I can win this. Like, we did as well as we could have in lane. We kind of even won it, but now Fiora is just like fighting my team instead of me. I don't really have the mobility to keep up with her, right? She can just dash, 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 dash to my backline, and I can't really walk up with her. And he has a built-in cleanse. Ooh. Gotta get a pick with a Salus. But this thing didn't land. The wildest fact is that the Ash is actually gonna live. <laughs> After diving like that. Even kill anymore? Yeah, I still do. Yeah. Okay, that actually worked somehow. Nice. Let's shoot one more kill. Nice, good. Let's have bot and just smash the Fiora. Try to kill here again. Don't know bar, which, which might get a bit rough, but shouldn't matter. Absolute trash can. Nice. I didn't kill? Pig power speak for me. <laughs> That's good to hear, bro. <laughs> yeah. Big power speak for me. So many blunder on with a false sense of purpose. I shall sunder them from their lives. Bro, if 25 magic was it stopping your champion from one shotting, then your champion can't one shot. <laughs> Let's box. I am building frontlining. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
the, the the attack speed I got from her? Let me just murk her like that. The only reason I can kill because Nash is obviously, but also because when I ult her, I got her attack speed, which is like like the only stat he has. Like she has she has like the most attack speed of any other stat, and she was lethal tempoed up, so I could just literally ult and body her. Man, that was nasty. Look at his attack speed though. Dude, Ward looks so weird with high attack speed. And there it goes. There it goes. How sad. Hey, yo! Uh, yeah, I'm not. not. <laughs> Just point and click. Nice. Oh man, I should cancel my ult with his ult. I should have ulted the melee, but he just. like cleanses it now. Yeah, that sucked. We got one pick and then we got. teamed. I swear, seeing these two on my screen just infuriates me every time. <laughs> it's like, all right, I'll just watch someone who's playing the game. All right, lands the skill shot. All right, goes player flank. Let's go, let's go, flank. All right, Kais is going in. Got a perp, of course. Yeah, it's, it doesn't make a difference, does it? Yeah. It don't make no difference. If my ult goes out, maybe I kill the J4 there, but man. That was rough. Let's go back top then. Oh, she's going Hullbreaker. Okay. That's annoying. Bro, she straight up just bodied me, man. Just start. God, do we just are we just outscaled now? Yeah. <sighs> GG. That's it for the side lane. Yeah. I don't even get this thing. Hey, everybody stop! Jin's gotta reload! <laughs> that int cost us the Baron from me. Get the shot off so you get the new speed. Kais is splitting at least. So that's good. I'll wait for my uh, demonic embrace. <laughs> that was crazy good. Nice. Come on. No way! Just, just, just R! Alright. I know I messed up, but man. That was painful. 
All right, we got the kill. Let's head on down to the dragon and, and secure it. Bro, she just straight up kills me. Oh, let me see here. I'm just gonna tank, honestly. Let's finish this. Good. It's fewer of an army, so it's completely worth. Let's head down here. Good, good. Maybe we can go for some sort of flank. Gotcha, buddy. Everyone is watching. Good stuff, good stuff. About time. All right, just end the game, boys. Man, this one was a painful one to play through. But on the bright side, it's over. I'll see you, boys, in the next one. Peace out. All right, we're up against Renekton Top. Renekton Top is quite a rough one for us to deal with because, but well, one, his W cancels out shields, so we can't really rely on our shields too much unless he uses his empowered W. Two, he's super mobile, which makes things a little bit difficult because unless he uses his E to dash towards us, it's going to be pretty rough for us to like go for an extended all-in, which is kind of what we want to do. Now, I'm pretty sure we do just straight up stat check him at level 6, but it's a bit of a journey until then. We have to try our best to keep our distance and play kind of like a Darius matchup, where we're keeping our distance, we're poking him down and then going in to try to kill him, but... It's really tough to kill him to begin with, right? Again, the mobility allows him to just control fights. So, yeah, keep our distance. We're going to be losing a bunch of CS because we can't walk up, right? That's just how it is. So, yeah. All will be mine. All will die. That's a nice kill. Let me think here. Um, We could try to go for some bruisery stuff, but I kind of want to go for like a... A tank setup. Perhaps Iceborne could work quite well here, right? Slowing down for our Qs, reduces damage. Hmm. It might be a bit rough because the thing about the ranked matchup is that he does actually have a good sort of healing thing later on in the fight. Like he does heal up, so I don't know if Iceborne is going to give us enough damage to just kill him. We'll see how the lane goes, right? We'll see how it goes. Alright. Where's Zach starting? If the Rectin has Fury, then he leashed. If he doesn't, then he didn't. Mm. Yeah, Zach start bot, definitely. We gotta be careful around. Like, when the Zach gets level 3, you have to basically just back off. Because we're like prime target number 1 for ganks. Oh, I think we're dead. Ooh, man, that <laughs> we just barely survived. Cool. All right. Yeah, he should have just bodied us there. Like, just straight up. I thought, we could, I thought that we could maybe put up a fight, but I, I feel like it was a little stupid to go for E. Maybe with W I could have done something. We fortunately survived, though. And also, us being pushed out of lane here means that... When Zack is top, he won't really 
get like a gank opportunity. Though we do lose a bunch of CS, which sucks. Yeah, it is what it is. It's a bit of a toughie. Not much to say about it. Just play too aggressively when I could enough. Yeah, that's rough. I lost a lot of CS there. Sucks. Ugh. I was gonna heal up my W, honestly. <laughs> he has an empowered W available, so you could just use that to cancel the shield out. So basically, get no use out of it. But seriously. Dude, this minion's, like, position is so crazy. The level's up, too. Yeah, dude, the minions got stuck in the absolute worst spot possible. I should I want to keep my Q to fight him, but I should just use it to get the crash in. Man, that sucked. I was basically just, like... I, I I just let the Zank kill me there. Well, right to kill me, but like I just let that happen basically. Should have just gone for the crash in and left. That would have been the smarter move. Man, that sucks. This matchup straight up trash, boy. Let's just try to play it a bit safer then until level six. I can maybe just straight up body him. With ignite. Oh, he's typing up an essay. He's typing up a storm. You won that trade <laughs> pretty hard. <laughs> nice. Right. Let's back up before he double E dashes into this because he definitely gets a little six here. He also has his thumbs up. Right? Yeah. Definitely has ignite up. Flash, I'm pretty sure, will be up like by the end of this minute. I shouldn't have done going for the EQ. I need this to crash into my turret. Now it gets to slow push better. It's kind of crashing. We get level 6 too, so we can kind of fight him, but... I'd rather him pop his ult first. I sunder the natural cycle so that all may be preserved. No Fair enough then. <sighs> I 
I messed that up, didn't I? Yeah, no good. If I maybe land those cues, I kill him. We just lose our flash. And he just gets on us and kills us instantly. It's not a good matchup at all, is it? Let's just shit up, go for Iceborne. Don't see much of another way that we survive in this lane. Hobbies first, yeah. I'm gonna go Bork as well, which makes this even more difficult, but... I feel like once we get Iceborne, we might have like a decent shot at killing him, because it also reduces damage against us. Get a crash in then. He's recalling now, so I better just do it. Okay, he's staying, that's good. The menus for him to get the Double thing, I don't know what's called. Max definitely here though. So gotta be careful of that. I don't know if we can 2v2 with the Rengar. Cause he's kinda like super squishy. So it wouldn't do that well in a fight like this. Let's just get a shoving. Let's go. It's no good. It's kind of prepping this for like a kill or whatever, but we'll just fight. This Rengar doesn't die. I'm gonna just keep the pressure up for as long as I can. If he doesn't recall, it's better for me. I know the ult will take away like 100 health from him, which is exactly the amount of damage I needed for the Ignite to kill him. Like, it, it's like, it's the amount I needed to take away from him for the Ignite to take and kill him there. Pretty good. We get to beef up a lot here. Bam, bam, bam. Good. If he gets Bork, he might still just tear into us. But at the very least, we're like somewhat back into the lane. Why should we get 150? Right. Yeah, good. Their static ship is better than ours, I guess. <laughs> is Victor gonna get it too? How about Annie? <laughs> Rengar has AP scaling, so he should get it too. <laughs> so everyone gets it.
He almost got his W on us. Good. We tried that quite well. I gotta keep it like this here. See yo. That worked. Nice. He had Bork there too. Man, we we, <laughs> we played our as a W so hard there. Nice. Oh, what? We herald him? Yeah, let's just get this turret. Not a fan of this herald because I just started winning lane. Oh, I should have queued for Sheen. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah, I just started winning lane, so I'd rather like farm the rank than a bit more. Seems that's not gonna happen. Let's go help the team here then. I should just open the bomb there. But I mean, we die there anyway once they get out. Man, they got a lot of CC. All right, Lola's not getting. I think I do want to embrace work well. Kind of would, yeah. Let's get it. Beef up. I do realize that HP isn't the best thing against Renekton, because the Bork will just play into it. Right? But, at this point, I don't think I have much of a choice. Pretty sure he gets this. If Rengar just jumps on him with ult, the Renekton just one-shots him straight up. <laughs> Like he's too squishy to survive like a like a full fury W. Alright, I messed that up a little hard I'd say, but we had our sub incoming, so that was good enough. Kill for Rengar is decent by me. 300 damage reduced. Now that's a good number. Let the foolish curse me. Let the foolish curse me. Yeah, I'm just going out the other way. <laughs> like, I am not crossing. <laughs> Unless... Oh. She is looking... Alive. Good ending. Bro, what am I gonna do? Do I look like I got ultimate? Yeah, I'm gonna just go back to him. <laughs> I ain't getting nothing done here, man. <sighs> A lot of goals required before we get, even get close to finishing that. Hey, yo! Bro. Why do you walk here? Dude, are you insane? Of all the places she could have walked, she walked like directly into the river. You crackhead. <laughs> what? How's that my bad? Like, on what planet? What? Like, possesses you to walk there? I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that.
He had a huge bounty. So that's it. Okay. Maybe if I queued better at the I mean I kind of accepted my death. So maybe if I queued better or something, the Braum would have died faster there, but honestly, just what I did there was enough. What had me stunned there, by the way? Because I was stunned at like the beginning of the fight there, if you guys saw. Which is why I had to use my flash to get on the Ophelios. Hmm. A mystery will take to our graves, I suppose. Do not fight him. Do not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just run. run. <laughs> he is a 1W. 1W from death. Also, she is 1 8, man. At this point, Morgana does more damage than her. Alright, let's get down here. Quote unquote, help out with the dragon. Bro, that was so sneaky. Dude, it just. Dude. <laughs> so many situations are like. I just look at it, I'm like, wow. Like, how, how disastrous can this get? You know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, get, we kind of have no choice but to give there. Good chunk. He gets the Ophelios, that's good. That's good. I can kill the Victor. Yeah, I have full armor, don't I? I have no magic resist. Gotta get a really good fight going to have a chance. She's gonna die. Or not. Okay, she got out actually. Maybe they'd get her if they chase, but at this point it's like, is it even worth it? Yeah, man. I gotta get in range first. And homeboy could just choose to permanently stay out of my range, so... Don't go there! He kills you! Alright, moron. Die one more time. See if I care. We got that man. Ooh. And try to see if we can maybe like catch him. Or someone. Pretty sweet. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> that was pretty, pretty sweet. I'm just roaming around looking for kills. There's just no point in like farming that much anymore. I mean, there is some point. We just get stronger, obviously. But I kind of don't want there to be another fight where I'm not involved. Oh, okay. She wants to do something, I guess. Okay, okay. Go, go, go. A chunk. Nice. I'm gonna clear out top, or I guess I find out. I'll, I'll ult the Zack. The thing is, my ult is kind of useful in taking care of like a like a big boy on their team, like an Aphelios or something. Come boy. Dude, we are meaty. Like we <laughs> dude, we we slap someone. 
meat down there, man. Whew. The game started like a, as an absolute disaster, but we're doing good, so that's fun. Hmm, I kind of want to get this just on the cheap right now, so I have to get one shot by the victory and stuff, and it helps me with damage. It basically just acts as nine and all, like magic pin. Good. I feel like we're super tanky, so we could just go for like damage now. What kind of damage should I go for? Uh, I think Zhonya's, but I want to go for like crazy damage to Nash's Tooth, maybe. Fits me better right now. Dude, I have not been top lane in a while. Health unmade. Isn't that just another word for damage? Where you think you're going, boy? Had to get the Zack out of there. So that he wouldn't be able to CC my team for the rank to go. And I... Dude, that's a lot of damage there. Like, that's <laughs> that's crazy, actually. For a tank item. And I get the ability haste, too. So that's awesome. Hit the Baron, bro. I officially do not care anymore. <laughs> I, I would just limit test with this. Because I just want crazy damage on me right now. Because what I got right now, it ain't enough. It is not enough. Could just go even more magic pen. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. And kill the Aphilios. Yeah, I'm gonna just go to safety. There wasn't no safety. <sighs> yeah, like I kind of just had had it all ride on that one hook, and when it didn't land, it was just over. Hmm. Is this too much of an int? I think so. And why can't I ever build the fun items? Oh well. You we actually got him somehow. I mean, I'll stick to my guns. Rabadons and the Nashers. I'm a stick to my guns kind of guy. My guns are usually stuck to. I don't leave my guns, you know? These guns? Sticking to him. But still, you know. I feel like just going for Nash's would have been infinitely better in this situation. Also, they made it 700? Huh. That's crazy. Okay, buddy. Okay, palsy walsy. But there's not much of a mid to go for. That was fun. <laughs> she just straight up has like a vendetta on like the entire allied team. Let's 
get out of here because they're four man. I'm trying to see if I can get like a surprise kill on the Zack or something. Get out. If he was coming along, I could have one shot him there with the low amount of health he has. Also, I've got to like farm in a side lane. I've been roaming around the map like a moron the entire match, practically. Gonna love that lower cooldown. Let's see what that. I sunder the natural cycle so that all may be preserved. Yeah, bro. <sighs> he was actually there. Back up or get bodied. That was not a good choice. At least we took him out of the fight. Dude, he is so fast. All right. Oh my god! Okay, that's that move speed bump from the Addy was like, like so clutch. But man, we're too slow. We're way too slow. All right, this is bad. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. We gotta just surprise kill him here. I tried to hold them out. Did we know where you find on that? W no They're both dead, they're both dead. Nice. Alright. Now she's gotta run. <sighs> Man. <laughs> Rankton just popped out at the like the like the worst possible timing there. Ah <sighs> Shibal. I don't even know why I'm doing this at this point. Right, like, I have no purpose to be building Rabadons. I low-key stir up just want to, though. <laughs> I, just, I just want to. <laughs> Is there a more unhinged reasoning, or what? Uh. Bro, the stats on this are crazy for legendaries. 50 health, tenacity, and slow resist. <laughs> That's nice. The slurs especially. Alright, let's get the wave. That Sonya's gone from the victor. Bro, there's no way you went in on the four people. Alright. Like, the... Yeah, the Rengar just griefed us there. I can't cook, it's 1v5!
I should water first. I'm trash. <laughs> I missed both. Uh, yeah, I could have maybe played better, but like, ugh, dude, dude, we got the Zanyas. Homeboy just went in on the whole team. That was not good. Like that just caused us to lose the dragon, and us fighting there caused us to lose this Baron. We should have just left it and gave it to them. It's not good to give them infernal dragons though. Oh, Victor survives. Oh, just fight, just fight, just fight. Rengar should have just fought there because she put the black shield on him. It's fine. Maybe you can collect one more. No, you can't. Let's try to get some farm, man. Just finish our stupid Rabadons. Is there something with Moose that I can maybe go? Yeah, he's full items at a full level, and he's just constantly farming. Actually, no, he has one more thing to buy. No, no, no. I, I went along with it. I'm victim to peer pressure. Let me see here, then. Is that it? A lot of good stats. It's basically like a Nash's tooth, but like, it, like stat wise, it's it, I, I get the same stuff as Nash's tooth, but instead of getting the all attack damage, I get more move speed and also much more ability haste, which is gonna be huge because we're only on thirty. Good. All right, now they weren't five people, so it's okay to go in. <laughs> I had no idea you could hook through the wall. That's <laughs> more to guys say. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Let's put this one to bed. Bruh. Twenty seconds, we're on the clock, boys. Good. Good chunk. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Peace out. All right, we're back to the gameplay up against Darius Top. Now, I've kind of made a mistake this time because last champion select, I was up against a Quinn Top. So I was preparing for a ranged top laner matchup. But this time, I was honestly not paying attention, so I still have the same runes. But it's not like it's a terrible setup. It's just Ignite makes this lane so much more playable, and we don't have Ignite now, which might be a little tough to deal with i don't know on the bright side we have like a ghost to help us run away from him in addition to a flash so we should be a bit more resistant to his like um ghost rundowns right so that's good we have udir mid which is okay man um yeah the problem with trying to make up for your team's damage as a top laner is that you're kind of far removed from all the action which means that Everybody on your else on your team, if they're AD, but you're the only AP, yeah, it's kind of a balanced team fight. But what's going to happen is that you're not really there for a lot of the game. So the fact that you have the the variety damage for your team is not always beneficial unless you're popping off super hard and are one v nining, right? So in general, as a top laner, you shouldn't be thinking about oh, do I have an AP? or an AD damage top laner in my champion pool, just play the ones that you want to play, because, again, as a top laner, it's not really your job to make for make up for the damage. Anyway, um, that's just a nice little tangent, I suppose. We got a kill on our Varus early, which is good. Always good to get a lead on the bot lane. The <clears throat> 
gotta stay a cue distance away from the Darius at all times. Okay, he went for bone plating, which isn't the best choice. That one, the minion block. Over W, because it's kind of better here. Hook is not the best. Level 2 against Darius, because you want more meat. Sort of hit some minions so we get level 3 with him. Not good. Thankfully, I backed off instead of going for the trade. Good, BP off again. Warded. I'm okay sacrificing my W here to just keep the wave close to my turret. Makes it impossible for him to run us down. If we just keep it calm like this to level 6, we should be fine. Not good to miss cues like that. Sure, W to absorb some of the damage, but being in lane against him without W is like a, a huge vulnerability. Because your W is like the main reason Darius just doesn't one shot you. You need it to like defend against this burst after Noxium might. Soul Q. Let's get some good licks in. Absorbed all the damage. So it went pretty even in that trade, I'd say. Not even, we just should have won the trade. But it did Q heals, so that's not good. If I play this slow enough, we should be able to get him in our ult. Relatively simple. We got a pretty good ult positioning, right? So we couldn't back off anywhere else. And from that point, it was just a matter of all attack spamming him. This is perfect. We get to kill him in lane. We win lane without having to use Ignite. So now we have Ghost available for team fight system, which is absolutely huge. And the king just freezes the lane for him. <sighs> Fun. Let me look at their team here. Tavis is good. Let's get some AP though. Actually, I'll get the boots, armor, and then get the AP. I want to do a lot more damage with my Qs and stuff. But yeah, Kane really helped him out here. This ain't good. Let's try to be careful, right? We don't want to be too aggressive. Because we're kind of pushed up, so he can kind of run us down and kill us. He does have his ult here. So let's play it back. Let's play it safe. I'm trying to get killed. And then once our ult's back up, we just kill him again. And for that point, I'm pretty sure we just straight up beat him outside the ult too. 
But against Darius, you you do have to put him down a few times before he's like um, a bit mellowed out. Let's say. <laughs> okay. How's this going? What a mess. I just wanted to get a spawn plating. I had no interest in going for some sort of all in. Like, just look at how I'm um, like spacing against him. We did win the like the kill there, but we're trying our best to not go in and die again, right? You really want to respect your enemy top laners, his power spikes and stuff like that. Prepped all those. Damn, got them all. Didn't lose a single, yes. Now let's just accept the crash here, get all of them, and then kill him on the slowbush back. I can maybe get a kill on him here. No. Okay. I wanted to go back here and then double Q that. Fair enough. We don't have a hook here, so it's going to make this a bit more tough. And we just kill him. There we go. If you just use your abilities against Darius, like, properly, you just straight up one-shot him. And the ult just, like, saps him of all his stats, so, like, <laughs> he straight up has no counterplay. If you did Darius in this matchup, you gotta just not take the damage that this guy's taking with the super long-range abilities. And just be aggressive, like, like, be aggressive outside the ult. But when the Mord has a chance to ult you, like I do, right? That you want to basically save your ghost so you can just run away from him. Because that's literally the only kind of play you have. You activate ghost and then you run as much as you can. If you don't, then Mord just straight up outstats you. Right? Let me see here. Uh, right. I'll get the health. I kind of want like the, the damage first, but this is fine. Okay, we have one static abuser. Two static abusers. Okay, okay we win. <laughs> That's how you count it. That's how you count it in this patch. <laughs> Whoever's team has more champions abusing static shiv will win. <clears throat> he still did an ult. So I'll be a bit more aggressive because I have ghost. But things could go south. He should have hooked me there. It's a little crazy that... Ooh. That that Q landed. Right. Ghost for Ghost, I'll take it. Alright. Poppy wants to cook. <laughs> Bro, he's gone. All right, cool. Do I lose my cannon? Yes, I do. Uh, I should have walked up a tiny bit more. Oh, her being here actually was bad for the team. Would you just got beaten up there? But I feel like this exchange was a good example of just you know us winning the lane by now. He can't do too much anymore. Oh, he still at the turret. Okay. Good. Bro. Like the demons in my ear were telling me to flash ult Q one shot him. Still want smoke. Well, yeah, his ult kind of ruined things. Couldn't kill him. I should have eat earlier though. Maybe then I get him. But I kind of wanted to not use all my abilities instantly. All in all, I'd say it's not that bad of a situation. Want to go for portable here? 
feel like Protobuild is like still underused on Mordekaiser. But with the hyper mobile champions are nowadays, it seems to be more and more mandatory by the day. Not mandatory, obviously you can go anything and just be like a stat ball. As Mordekaiser, you're good at being a frontline stat ball, but I'd rather be impactful, you know? Also, the thing about Zeri is she straight up just beats us in our in our own ultimate. We can't kill Zeri with ult. So what about this useful? Well, I have Rylize, so should be able to chase up them even better. Sword up. How's that going? Good. Not gonna push the lane here, brain dead. Want to get trades on him and snowball. I think a lot of players do is just they just hit the wave non-stop. So, if you have power, if you have control of the lane, basically, you want to kind of play it as slow as possible, just to get more opportunities to mess your opponent. But that is not going to land. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> it's actually insane that that worked, by the way. <laughs> like, that Ash stun was like a solid 2-3 seconds. He was stunned after I hooked him and got on him. He was like still stunned. Alright, come on, Kane. Bye bye, boy. Right. Let's finish our steel caps and get our damage. Bam, bam. Let's get the alternator. Actually, I just go straight for. Uh, nah, alternator's better. I thought I could go for um, blasting one into Amptome, but couldn't, so I didn't. The perfect timing of the plating going down, by the way, he doesn't get anything. <laughs> That's so perfect. Nice. <clears throat> Alright, let's get up here. Let's get on up. Good. That's warded. Give me that 5G. We don't have R, so we're kind of vulnerable to a gank here. All mortals reek with the stench of decaying flesh. <clears throat> this is flash gone. I really wanted to just ghost run in there. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, let's get this turn. Mortar is not the greatest at taking down turrets, which is why it takes so long. Cut chunk. Cut chunk. Cut chunk. Good chunk. Good chunk. There we go. Hey, yo! You wanna go again, bro? Homie went for that tactical W. If I stuttered a bit better, I would have gone that off. Decent combo. He shouldn't have eaten his auto attacks though. He ate a lot of auto attacks there, if you guys saw. So it didn't work out that well.
I don't want to just like loot Kane's jungle, but the thing is, if it was a normal human champion, I could go for it. But because it's Kane, what's going to happen is, um, like, the second I fight him, he can just run through walls and stuff. So I can't, like, actually get him. Yeah, you got him. Good. Let's get this wave pushed in again. Or just go help with the Zeri. Okay. Just trying to get the... God. The fact that that champion actually exists in that state is absolutely disgusting. You play that so weirdly. Hey, yo! I ran into that? Okay. Don't give him Noxium Mind! Dude, she straight up gave him- He could have killed her there, by the way. Because he she straight up walked up with four stacks and gave him Noxium Mind. And there are people who are- Oh, there's a solar power. Yeah, if you do that, he's gonna kill everyone. Imagine I wasn't that fed. He would just body her there. Yeah, there's not much I can do, that, is there? Just do mobile! Hmm, I wanna go Nash's Tooth. Get that attack speed in. But yeah, I could have played that way, way better, but I don't know. Because he has the, like, the movement advantage. It's like, I have to count on him to mess up and walk into my abilities, and even if I land everything perfectly there, he still kills us. Hmm. Those are rookie numbers, bro. We gotta pump those up. I have the exact same. Almost. He actually one shot him there. <laughs> oh my god. Well, um, normally I'd be against AP Virus, but he is playing Kane, so he deserves it. Let's get this on the useful key. Real Sigmas have the actives on number two. And real Sigmas don't use calculator mice. <laughs> Like, like those mice with like 50 buttons on the side? Nah, <laughs> mess me with that. Hey, bro. Where are you going? Where are you going? I, I actually, <laughs> if I stuck, I would have actually got him with the ult there. I just, <laughs> I just lost over Whatever, he ghosted. I would have actually gotten him there. Also, um, we're not ulting Zeri again. Because she is... A horrifyingly disgusting champion. We can cross walls too easily. I gotta just like go for flash cues on her when it's gonna just one shot her. Okay. Yeah, this one's a bit of a tricky game, isn't it? Because it got a lot of mobility. Let's keep our ult for Victor. Because him, I 100% can kill. Ideally, we want to wait for him to put the, the stun thing down, like the. I don't know what it's called, the the zoning thing, the purple whatever, and then we can, like the ult will, like remove it basically, from play. Right. Drake is up, so let's let's get it, let's get it. Is that auto? Yeah. <laughs> Death does not tire. Oh, damage off on him. Dude, just do the dragon. What? Let's just heal up all we can. That isn't disgusting, is it? 
Most of I'll do all just get bodied. Let's run up there and ghost it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Just walks through the wall. <laughs> God, I hate this champion and this champion. Ugh. Yeah, we got bodied by the Ziri there. Not good. We gotta just save our, like, Ash ult, Varus ult on the Ziri. And I have to focus on killing the Victor. I have to just, like, I have to just, like, whatever is happening, I gotta have it out for the Victor right there. Unfortunately, I have to use my ult to kill the Kane. Not to kill the game, but to stop him from stealing, because he would 100% steal that. I have no doubt in my mind that he would actually get that, uh, dragon from the puppy. Because, I mean, it's not really Poppy's fault, but there's some champions that are just, like, tough to secure the dragon or, like, an objective against when it's, like, a 50-50. Like a Shaco or, like, an Evelyn. Well, not Shaco that much anymore, but Evelyn, for example, right? Evelyn can just get in the pit, ult smite out, and it's just, like, gone from, like, 3k, right? You can't outsmite that. So there's some champions that you have to just, like, uh, you know, do something against so that they don't just get the objective. Bro, what was that? Oh. He just killed us. I should have ulted the fish or something. Not good, man. We just got bodied by their team comp. This is why Moore does not really pick that much. You just get destroyed by modern champions. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, it's over, it's over. They just end here. Oh, GG. I mean, it is where it is, right? Maybe if I pick like a set or something or like a Darius, I would for sure carry this, but it is what it is. Oh, right, we're back some more Mordecai's new gameplay. We're up against Darius Top. This is a decent matchup for Darius, so we have to be very careful. But the general idea is we have to play in a way where the Darius cannot actually fight back against us. Meaning we're going to have to use our Qs with max range. We're not stepping up to his melee range unless he misses his Qs or messes up his hook or something, which allows us to actually stick to him and kill him with our passive. We are not going to go for all ones earlier on because that will allow him to use his ghost to kind of just weasel a kill through. And we're mostly looking at trying to get a kill at level 6 because what we can do is we can do E and then ult him. And as long as the E is on top of him, the ult will slow him by such a huge amount that the hook will land 100%, which will give us basically a perfect engage on him, off of which we can basically just kill him, right? So that's the plan. The end has got a lot of tankiness, so I'm thinking of going for a Rylize, then Riftmaker, and then um, this one. Demonic Embrace, and then we're, we're just going to go full tank after that. So that's the plan overall for this match. We'll obviously see what changes based on who's fed on the enemy team. Anything could happen. This is solo queue. Where are you, big boy? Gonna wait to queue. All three of the minions. How's this going? Not great. Decent damage. Opted for the damage on the Darius instead of just all three of the minions. What? That was annoying. Yeah, we just got instantly ganked. <laughs> That's fun. Hmm. Get in with that. Bro, I don't know why he's just constantly pinging it. <laughs> like, what am I going to do about it? What is Talia going to do about it? Because we're kind of just in a 2v2 here. Alright, let's farm up. Let's 
gonna heal up. I'm not gonna get into an all in anytime soon, so I better just use my W to heal there. Decent amount of CS here to work with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Homie really thought he could get me there. <laughs> Man. Like, the thing is, it wasn't a bad fight for him, but just the timing of it was so horrible. Because he tanked everything, which meant that my Ignite would be even more critical, right? And I had the minion advantage, so there was no way he was going to win that. Which is quite funny, honestly. <laughs> Homie, ooh, got the stacks on, five stacks, let's go. He was ready, man. <laughs> Homie put everything on the line there. <laughs> yeah. Well, another good thing is he's straight up just going for longsword instead of anything defensive like a, a Ruby Crusade or something. Which is good for us because, generally speaking, Darius, if he goes damage against these kinds of matchups, he gets killed even quicker. So it's easier for me to kill him. Actually, no, they landed. Okay, well, let's just kill him. Where'd he go? I just zone him like this. I don't have a lot of range, so I can't do too good of a job zoning though. I miss that? Flash <laughs> gone. Homie kept eating the, eating the keys for breakfast. Rip. Let's go get a blasting wand and crash our Q upon him even harder. I doubt he's gonna go magic resist, but he should. He should he should try to rush QSS so that he doesn't die every time I have Molotub. How's this going? Hulk already, bro. Reap. Alright then. Oh yeah, he went for Hearthbound Axe. Nice. Now we're in a bit of a risky spot here, because he can't actually kill us. He has a sums up and his ult, and, his, and we don't have our ult. But I don't think he realizes that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good. Big boy's missing, yo. 
My name is Skylar White, yo. <laughs> Yeah, bro, I ping them, man. Bro. Dude. <laughs> Dude, I love it. She doesn't pay attention to the pings at the time. She she she, she flame pigs me, and then goes back to rechat to make sure if I like <laughs> ping missing or not. <laughs> Like the S the the ping missing isn't actually tactical in that I'll inform my teammates. It's basically just be like, like so that they don't flame me. Like that's the utility of ping SS at this rank because nobody listens to them. <laughs> nice, nice. What do you think, big dunker? He should have just can't walk up without dying when I have my ult up. Bro, we get that AD. Woo! Nice. If Riley is good. I'm not gonna overstay for plates here. It's just straight up not worth it. The thing about this matchup is that if you play Mordekaiser right, you're not giving Darius any opportunity to fight back. But if you overstay and don't get your recalls correctly, then you are giving him the opportunity. Playing this lane as Mordekaiser isn't about being like a dominant and super fed top laner. It's about giving Darius as little room to breathe as possible. You don't want him to play the game at all. You guys can see every time he steps into lane, we're playing in such a way where he either can't get on top of us when he does have the advantage, and when he doesn't, I'm just completely stonewalling him off the lane. Like, he, he's not allowed to play the game. That's how you're supposed to do it. All right, this is a bit of a mess. Pooh. Don't die now. Okay. All right, I'm I'm, I'm doomed, aren't I? Bruh. <laughs> I should just let him die there. I should just let him die there. Ugh. I try to save him there, right? I was like, all right, let's just get him out. But I don't know why he just like compelled to run towards danger. No, oh, well. that's quite unfortunate. Like really unfortunate. Like dying there isn't the worst thing in the world, but the LeBlanc is just abusing static. Which is like a bit of an overpowered item right now, so I'm not sure how well this is gonna go for us. Let's get down here. I have my R, so I can't do V1. If they challenge it, yeah, because it's not fighting it. Fair enough. Bam. Easy kill. That up. Re up. Let's get this. Hmm. Thought he'd chase me. Whatever. You like a realize, bro? Go for the freeze then.
I wasn't in range for my R. I agree with the hook there. Okay, LeBlanc is getting insanely fed. Yeah. This is fun. I'm just keep pressuring. Take that one. Let's see if we can get this turret. Probably not. Maybe I go for Protobelt this game. It's a better play against the LeBlanc. Turn my phone to silent. Sorry, boys. The ladies can't get enough of me. <laughs> Think. I'm gonna go for a rift. Simple. Let's just go for move speed. Maybe that will help. I don't know. Like, given how meaty their front line is, portable makes us super squishy. And I don't want to get like trapped by like a like a rel and then one shot. I want to get trapped by the rel and then two shot. It's <laughs> not funny. Nice. Ooh, Buster Rooney. What you trying to do? This is Ghost Gone. Bro! Bro, I don't have R! It's not like she's even like the most valuable target. It's the uh, LeBlanc who is. That sucked. She ulted my first Q and the second one, I just missed it by myself. God. This one's quite rough. I'm not honestly sure like what I should do here to maximize our chances of winning. But like we're just not that good at dealing with like LeBlanc. The Zai I can kind of kill, but if she has people waiting, like camping outside the ult, then no, they'll just get on me and kill me. Her ult is too much of a... too good of a vehicle to just avoid being hit by me for a while. Let's just do the same thing we've been doing, but try not to die. Basically just going for kills every time we have our ult up.
Maybe I can work with the team. Right, if they're there to absorb some of the damage for me. The enemy team might just ignore me long enough for me to kill everyone. No. Coward. Where are y'all going? <laughs> I'm gonna get the Zaya, but she just survives every time. Ugh. Don't know if I need more damage or just better luck. I'm inclined to believe it's luck. It's just one kill. How much damage has that done already? <laughs> this section is so crazy. Can they just like remove the AP scaling altogether? Like just just make it so it doesn't scale at all, or just have it scale with AD only? Like how, how much of a cretin do you have to be? <laughs> Whatever. Ugh. The dragon's up. My lead is all about gone. If I'm being honest. Got a good flank onto her. Never mind. How gross, man. I said that's about this for this match. Everyone just entered their heads off. If I could maybe play some more mobile champion, I could perhaps do something. But nah. This one ain't it for Mordekaiser. Let's just surrender. And go next. Maybe we'll look at some other match. It don't do any damage, man. Because it... <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> he has zero armor, by the way. <laughs> Ugh. What can I even do into her? That's the part that kind of frightens me. I missed that one. There we go. You ulted now? Dude, that old timing was so crazy useless. <laughs> I, I suppose it like like prolonged the fight long enough for me to have like my old top so that maybe I can do something with it. <laughs> Man. That was that helpful at all. Yeah, let's just let's call it. Let's call it. <laughs> Oof. Oh, 
we were waiting for then. There we go. I'll see you boys in the next one. This one didn't go that well, unfortunately. But it is what it is.